Spender. Mary Spender. Hi, this is Paul. So here is a fun little challenge for you. You gotta sing a duet with someone. That's it. No, no, wait. One more thing. It's gotta be someone you pick up from the streets or a street musician. It's gonna be fun, right? Good luck. Okay, I think I can do that. However, I'll take your challenge, Paul, and raise you one guitar. This is for you, Paul Davids. Let's go make their day. Come play this guitar. All right. Massive thanks to Curiosity Stream for making this video possible. This video has been a year in the making. It started off as one little idea and ended up as something rather special. When I was growing up, long before I got my first guitar, I was obsessed with buskers. So when it came to practicing my craft as a singer-songwriter, busking seemed like the best option. Alongside pub gigs, it was the majority of my living up until summer of 2016. Busking teaches you self-confidence. For many people, it can be your first experience of performing in front of a crowd. It can be joyous. <laughs> it can be torture. Busking isn't easy. You're putting yourself out there, fighting for attention, fighting for small change. It can also be a vulnerable job. I used to busk alone. Sometimes I'd have a cajon player, sometimes. But being a single female busking is way more nerve wracking. I've had experiences busking in London where I've had my kit stolen. I've also had opportunists in Bristol take money right out of my guitar case that was open in front of me. And I couldn't do anything about it with my hands full of guitar. Because I do remember how vulnerable I felt picking up my money at the end of the shift. <sighs> but busking can be transformative. You never know which person in the crowd might be moved by your work or inspired to pick up an instrument. This time last year, I wanted to do something special for the street performers in Barcelona. And well, Paul Davids had also set me the challenge. At first though, I just went around giving a big tip and enjoyed seeing the smile on their faces. And it was great pretending to be Mr. Beast, but the video as an idea didn't quite feel complete until I met Oscar, who invited me to duet with him on a Sunday morning under the Arc de Triomphe without knowing anything about the challenge. This is my friend Oscar, who I met on my first day in Barcelona, and he was really sweet and kind, so gonna try and make his day. When one kid is coming and watch you, I'm sure that maybe one of them is going to be a musician, or he's going to try to learn a guitar. This is the real meaning of my job. <laughs> this is like being in a video game. We're gonna go see Oscar again. <laughs> This is for you, Paul Davids. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute. I never thought through love would be making one as lovely as she. Isn't she lovely? Made from love. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> Stumbled across the Cafe Vivaldi in the West Village of New York City. Oscar. Come play this guitar. Alright. This guitar. Yeah. Oh my god. It's been airborne for that. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's cool, right? Wow. It's really light. Wow. Usando montañas más alto en el cielo, te voy a encontrar de mar a mar, de mar a mar. Bebiendo la lluvia me convierto en río pa poder. Would you um, would you use that kind of guitar for your sets? Yes, I could use that kind of guitar in any sets. So softly. Yes, I did. I did one. <laughs> now, would you would you like it? This one. Yeah. Then we'll come watch it coast. Okay. 
another one find another one but it's impossible to, to buy it when you are you know you have to buy another things easy things for you uh, food and things like that so it, it was impossible <laughs> wow <Are> you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's the least i can do oh my god i cannot believe this i never thought that it can happen this to me in the whole life i cannot that's the first time that somebody gave me a thing to like that. Yes. Over a year later, Oscar is still busking around Barcelona and playing shows with the guitar. I'd love to make this a series, but I do rely on a sponsor to make it possible. So if you don't mind sticking around, I'll now tell you a little something about Curiosity Stream and Nebula. I've just released my new talk, The Freedom of Failure, as a Nebula exclusive. In this 20-minute lecture, I talk about the failures and setbacks I've experienced as an artist and how they've led me to where I am today. Nebula is a creator-owned streaming service. I've got all my videos up there, plus long-form videos that wouldn't work on YouTube. Exclusive behind-the-scenes content, studio diaries, making of videos, and more, including my full-length documentary, The Making of Songbook. Plenty of other amazing creators like Adam Neely, Charles Cornell and Amy Nolte are also on Nebula sharing their own exclusive content. It's full of great videos ad-free and you help me and other creators keep doing what we're doing. So sign up by using the link in the description. But you'll see that the best way to access Nebula is to sign up for a subscription to Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is the perfect place to access thousands of high quality documentaries like The Secret Life of Baby Owls or Planet Insect. Go to curiositystream.com forward slash Mary Spender and sign up and you'll get a free subscription to Nebula. That's access to both for less than $15 a year. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Paul and Oscar and I'll be seeing you very soon. Isn't she pretty? Ooh, truly the angel's best. Boy, I'm so happy. We have been heaven blessed. I can't believe what God has done. Through us, he's given life to world. Isn't she love?